Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. I've just sent my train back to the main base to pick up some more modules and stuff. In the meantime, we can start laying out our uh, train system for the refinery station. Now, uh, one thing that I want to do is I want to reserve you know, again, I'm going to try to keep train networks separated as much as possible. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave these two rails for iron ore. I'm going to have another set. Let's see, one, two, three, boom, uh, for copper. Is that right? One, two, three, in there. All right, so I'm thinking we can use this set of rails here to feed into the refinery area. Um, you know, and take stuff out to wherever it needs to go. And then, like I said, this will be for copper. If this is going to be a problem when I get up here to this intersection. <sighs> Looks like it will be, but hmm. yeah, that's going to be tough. course I don't really need well I'm gonna need it eventually I'm gonna need the track below here um, so I will need to go in both directions right so maybe I need more space so that I can pass through here without creating a big mess Okay, so what if I put, what if I have copper and iron ore on the same rail system? And then I'll just leave a bigger gap. Yeah, I'll just put copper, I'll put copper and iron on the same system. And then we'll leave a big gap, and then this will be for the refinery and its various products. And that way when I come up here, uh, the crossing is not going to be such a nightmare. To signal. <laughs> okay. So that ought to work. Let's see how the wall's doing. I don't see any problems on the wall. Everything looks good. Okay. Well, let's stop wasting time and let's get this done here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I think it would be nice to pack things in up here on this end. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, we're going to need to go into the stacker. And these are all going to be... These are all going to be one four trains, except perhaps for if I need to bring in coal by train. If I need to bring in coal then that ought to be a 282 like the other ore locomotives are. Um, I don't know how long this particular patch is going to last. Yeah, I might, I might be able to get through the rest of the series with this coal patch. Well, and I also have these that I can bring up by belts and, and bots. Yeah, so probably I'm not going to need a coal train. Even though... It's one of my favorite things. And that's my favorite coal train joke. Because uh, 
the famous saxophonist John Coltrane had an album called My Favorite Things. Okay, so I'm going to copy the stacker and I have to come over here and do it manually because I have no radar coverage in this area, but we'll fix that. Okay, so I'm just going to make a copy of that. Ah. Let's do it with shift so that I can get rid of the parts that I don't want. There we go. And actually that's longer than it needs to be. Okay. So we got a stacker. And one thing I was thinking is once I get red circuits going, I could start making a lot of module ones and I can take a couple train cars full of level one speed and productivity modules over to my starter base. And, uh, and that way I can make modules faster because I'll use fewer red circuits in the main base. Uh, let's see. This is kind of unfortunate placement. Oh, maybe, maybe it's not. I'll need the return to come around the top. All right, let's, let's try this and see how it works. I'm going to need to bring my train back because I'm going to be out of rail fairly soon. Um, so let's bring it, oh, I can't take it there. All right, we'll just bring it up there. Yeah, I'm out of rails already. So we'll just have to wait a minute for the train to get here. Okay, so we could go into the stacker and then we'll probably want to come all the way down here and then start laying out the, the stations here. I'll have to move those power cables to somewhere else. Ooh. Oh, okay. I thought I was taking damage. I think the alert was just because they were firing. All right, let's get... Hey, I got six more modules. How awesome is that? I'll get all the rail because I'm going to need a lot of it. And I'll get more signals also. Okay. Let's see where we want our first train station to be. Um, maybe like right here. And in that case, maybe I should move the, maybe I'll move the stacker farther to the east. one, one, two, three, four, and one. So this will be, this will be the back end of the stations. And then they'll exit this way. Okay, so we can have the, oh yeah, I can just push shift now. So we'll have the exit line 
coming out this way. Um, yeah, I should move this whole thing much closer. Uh, let's use at control X. Whoops. Q control X. That's something that I always forget about this, uh, cut feature. Yeah. Let's copy it from here and we'll grab all of that up to there. Okay. And then the bots remove all that. And then we can put this one, two, three, and right there. Yeah, that's better. That way the trains will stay on two lanes for a longer period of time. Okay. And then we'll get our straight section. We'll get our straight section, I said. All right, and then I'll have to fix this part. And then we can remove that. Okay. got this thing backwards. All right, so we're going to need, I'm going to need to remove all the signals and replace those. Yeah, actually, let's just do it this way. That way there won't be any guesswork into where these need to go. There. And then down here, I need to do the same thing like this. There, now it's going in the right direction. Okay, and we'll put a chain signal here on the entrance. Chain signal on the output. All right, one, two, three, and four. Oops, grab that. Ah. Okay. And then this is the return line. throw some signals on the return. That's one, one, two, three. Let's go up a little bit more. Make sure we get a full train length. I know I don't always check this, but it's probably a good practice. So one, one, two, three, and four. Yeah, so we'll put a signal there. That's four, five, and six. All right, so I'll just put another one up here. I'll put another one here. And I'll put another one there. Okay. And 
then the other stations, I can simply copy this part. Um, let's move this over. This whole part there. All right, one, two, whoops, one, two, three, and four. Uh, is that going to be enough space in between each? I think so. Um, and I did want to try to keep these separate, which I think I can do. All right, so we're going to need one for, let's see. Um, it was one for plastic, plastic, solid fuel, rocket fuel, um, And then the others were for All right, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I'm going to need more signals here. Let's see. So let's say plastic, rocket fuel, solid fuel, uh, lubricant, and sulfuric acid. I think that was it. Um, and we might need we might need oil in at some point. So I'll make another one for that. One, two. Three, and there. We'll just reserve some space for that. Okay. All right, so now let's work with the robot network. So what, what I want to do is get this first station inside this robo network but not connected to the uh, to the other ones excuse me okay so this one can be oh no actually i'll need i'll need the first several okay so we don't want those connected i do want to cover these two cuz those can be for those can be for rocket fuel and uh, solid fuel. Okay, and I'm putting several robo ports just because I, I won't be able to put them any closer to the train stations. And I want to make sure that there's plenty of opportunities to recharge. Okay, so the first thing that we can do is we can put in refueling. I mean, since we are making rocket fuel here, uh, we might as well take advantage of that to refuel the trains. Okay. And then we'll get, we'll get the rest of it covered as well. Um, maybe I'll use, maybe I should start using substations. Yeah, I think I will. All right, and then 
requester chess to load. Throw in our lights. All right. Um, so let's start with, let's make this the solid fuel. Okay, this can be rocket fuel. And I'm making the solid fuel closest because that's going to that's going to hold the most items and the bot pass will be shortest. Rocket fuel is the only stack in 10, so there'll be a lot fewer coming here. Uh, this could be plastic. This could be lubricant. And acid. And then this can be crude oil. Okay, do I have all this covered with radar? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I can see all of it. Okay, so let's load these up with solid fuel. Solid fuel stacks in 50s. Um, why is none of it coming up here? Oh, I have none. I used it all already. <laughs> yeah, because my petroleum is overloaded. So we're going to have to start using plastic before, before I'll get more solid fuel. All right. And what did I do on green circuits? Um, I set these to Oh no, I want to look at the plates. Sorry. Um, yeah, these are requesting 1.4K in each chest. This is half as many, so I'll request 700 solid fuel in each chest. Okay, and then we copy that a few times. Copy that. Okay. And then I will copy that entire thing and move it up there. Um, and then in this case, we're going to change all these to request rocket fuel. Um, yeah, 700 is, well, like 10, 11, 12, 10. It's 14 slots, right? So that would be 140 in each of these. Um, <clears throat> And maybe what I'll do twenty one, two, three, four. I'm going to change these to buffer chests. And that way I'll be able to I'll be able to pull train fuel from those chests. Okay, 
Now for the rest of the train fuel. Um, I should move these. I should move these up one tile. It was just the 23 that I picked up. Yeah, now I've got 405. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 400 exactly. I think that's what we started with. All right, so then the next thing that I can do is I can put can put more there. Um, and I'll put passive providers there. And this way we'll move rocket fuel into this network. Oh, you know what? Let's put a stop on that. Otherwise it'll just, it'll run uh, perpetually and we don't want that to happen. Okay. Now this network, we do want to be connected. All right. So we can put a RoboPort there. Hmm. All right, that's okay. All right, let's... I'll put those there and there. Okay. So we'll have several roller ports here. Or how about this? Um, let's put one here, 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 and here. Okay. So those are separate. These these are on separate networks now. All right. See, we've got a little bit of separation in between them. So all the solid fuel and rocket fuel are on this network and the plastic and the coal are on this other one. Okay, so we should put plastic right here, uh, which we did. Why is it saying it's not on a network? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's not on a network. I need one more tile. Okay, now these are on a network. Uh, okay, so here's what I have to do. Because I need my inserter to be on the robot, on the robot, the robot, the robot network as well. Okay, so now this inserter is on this robot network. So we'll have it insert there. And now we can connect this to the network and we can control how much of the rocket fuel comes over. So we'll set it to come over as long as there's less than, well, we'll just say less than 10 in the network. Okay, that's one stack. And actually, 
I only need one of those, right? Yes, I only need one. I don't have to transfer. Oh, how did I end up with so much rocket fuel? Okay, I don't need that one. We only need one transfer point. And then the rest can be simple requester chests, just like that one. Okay, and then it'll take it from that chest and distribute. Okay, so this is how you can move stuff between two different robot networks and uh, without having the robot networks touching. You just have a requester on one side and then use an inserter to put it into a chest on the other side. Okay. Um, this then is going to be for the plastic. Uh, these are going to be requesters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. 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 Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you very much. We're all set. Okay, and it looks like I'm short on inserters. Let's get some more. Um, I should also put a passenger station down here. Uh, yeah, I know. I know you have no path. You have no path in life. All right, I think that's enough. Okay, so again, uh, 14 stacks, plastic stacks in 100, so 1,400 in each of these chests. That'll get the plastic production going. That'll start to use some petroleum. That way the refineries will turn back on and I'll be able to get more oil to make more solid fuel to start filling these chests. At least that's, uh, that's what should happen in theory. What? Um, yeah, these are still backed up. All the pipes are full. Aren't these running? Yeah. Okay, well, they must just be emptying the pipes here. There we go. Now the refineries are starting to run. Okay, yeah, there we go. And now we're getting some solid fuel up here. Um, now we're requesting solid fuel over here. So, you know, I mean, I should be making it fast enough to take care of both of these simultaneously. Uh, but there could be moments where all the bots feed these chests until they get full and then all the bots feed these machines. I, I'm not sure. Hope, I'm hoping that the bots will be able to balance it out themselves. Okay, yeah, we've got some light oil building up a little bit over here, which is good. And the petroleum is starting to deplete. Okay. Um, right, okay, so now we need... Now for the um, for the lubricant and one two for the lubricant and the acid, I think I'm just going to use I'm going to use one two one trains. Um, although. 
Yeah, let's do two for two. Why not? Why not? All right, let's put in my lights in the usual locations. symmetry um, I need two more pumps so let's make two engines pumps that we can place there. Okay. And then we just need to connect the tanks. We'll do it like this. Okay. Oh. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm gonna remove these and instead all of this actually. Oh, control X. There we go. I'll copy this. I'll put that down first and then we'll put the power in wherever we can fit it. Which will be a little bit a little bit different. It's a little ugly now, but what are you going to do? I can't always make everything beautiful. All right. So the one on the inside is going to the lubricant. Um, how am I going to get the lubricant up here? <laughs> this is, uh, this is the tricky part. All right. Where is the lubricant? Okay. Here's the lubricant. All right. So the lubricant could come over here. Oh, and I need I need more pumps. Which means that I need more engines. I'll just make a bunch of them. All right. Engine. 
or no pump I mean I need more steel there we go okay uh, okay yeah now I need to run this the rest of the way and as previously stated that goes on that one right yeah if we screw it up we can always just rename the stations <laughs> won't be a big problem lubricant yes wonderful Okay, now we need the acid. And um, I have no place to run the pipe. Aha. I can come this way. Uh, no, that's kind of cheesy. Uh, crud. <laughs> I have... I have no options here. Unless I come back this way. Alright. Um, let's see if I can do that. Okay, I'll just leave that like that. Uh, we can put a long inserter there. That'll solve that issue. Okay, what about this? Okay. That seems to... Kind of work. Okay, and then uh, going from a tank to a pipe to a pump is. Uh, is not good. It doesn't work very well. You need the pump. Uh. You need the pump connected directly for it to work well. This is an absolute mess. I have to do that so that it doesn't join up with the tank here. Although I guess it wouldn't matter if it did. See, I can't even put it here because <laughs> then it's gonna it's gonna want to mix with the uh, uh, what it. Okay. 
That'll work. It's not beautiful, but it'll work. Okay, so now we have acid. Plastic boxes are full. Okay. So now we just need fuel for the trains, uh, except we want the blue ones. Okay. Uh, let's just check on signaling here. <laughs> That's the other mess we need to take care of. All right, so let's uh, let's look at the incoming, ingoing signaling first. Um, this has to be here, there, because it's coming this way, and then down here we'll put a chain signal there, and then we'll put chain signals at each crossing here. So for this last one that doesn't need it. Okay, and then coming out. Um, yeah, on each of these. of these as well. All right, and then I'll put a standard signal there. All right, that's one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll put it up here. Okay. And I think I think that will work. And then there's one last thing I want to do. And that is to put my own train. So we'll call this refinery PAX. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So that's the full length of the train. Right there. So that'll be to go in. And then to go out, I'll follow the same path. All right, let's see here. Going in. I think that's fine. And then going out. Actually, let's put that right there. It's only going to be one train in there ever, so. Um, okay, let's put another signal right there. We'll make that a chain signal. We'll throw a chain signal there and I'll make that a chain signal as well. 
Trains coming in this way. That should be fine. Trains coming out that way. Okay, I think I've got that. I think I've got that done right. Oh. No, let's make that a chain signal. There we go. I make that a solid signal. That way if there's any traffic up here, the train the train will stop here. Yeah. Okay, I think that's right. Um and then ugh. Yeah, somehow I'll have to get this outer line connected to it as well. Uh, but we'll do that at a later time. Okay. So I think the refinery is done. Let's, uh, let's go back to the base and deploy some trains. And then we'll make sure that all the signaling and pathing and everything is proper. Okay. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, ten engines. We're going to need four, eight, twelve cargo wagons. And we're going to need eight tank wagons, eight fluid wagons. I'm not sure if I'm making those. I don't know if I have those automated. some point it'll be a good idea for me to connect each of the four sides back to the starter base oh inventory full okay um, let's get rid of some stuff I don't need those bots I don't think I need I don't need my tank and my car anymore I'm not gonna carry those around um, I don't need these blue assemblers. We'll get rid of some stack inserters. Okay. Uh, let me grab some solid fuel for the trains. I'm going to cancel these requests now. Okay, and I'll just set them up here to deploy them. All right. One rocket fuel in each end will be enough to get it to where it needs to go. All right, so let's make this one the plastic train. Um, I'm going to go back to the Factorio cheat sheet and check my train colors. Uh, plastic is pure white, so that's an easy one. It's just max out all the sliders. It's not exactly pure white, it still looks a little dirty. Okay, so we'll send this to 
Oh, it can't get there from here. That's right. All right, I'm going to have to take the trains over there and set them up. Because this network is not connected to that network yet. All right, so we'll do that uh, in the next episode. I got to run. Um, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Appreciate it, as I always do. Um, module production looks... Well, it looks good now since I'm not making any speed modules. Um, and I haven't been requesting any productivity modules either, have I? So let's get that going. Uh, productivity 800. I don't know how many I've got. I didn't see a whole lot in the chests over there. Six and six, there's only 12. That doesn't seem right. I must have more than 12 after all this time. Oh, you know what? Uh, it's because they've been going into the red circuit machines. That's why. That's why I don't have any accumulated. Uh, but those are all done now, so I should start to be able to accumulate some productivity modules. All right. Well, we'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.